Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Sullivan. Today, we are going to be making a caterpillar out of Play-Doh. So, I wanna start by showing you that I made my own Play-Doh using Mrs. Constantine's recipe on our YouTube channel. You can do this too. Get your mommy and daddy to help you if you don't have any Play-Doh at home and you can make this too. I have one big ball of Play-Doh here and I'm going to start by separating it into four pieces that are about the same size. One, two, three, four. Now, you need both hands together and you're gonna use them to roll it into a ball. The caterpillar's body is made up of a whole bunch of little pieces that look like a ball. So this is the tricky part. Your two hands have to be going together, kind of like the wheels on a train, round and round. You don't want them to be too straight and you don't want them too curved. They have to kind of be cupped so that you could hold some water in there if you needed to. So you make two cups and you roll the ball around and around. Not too hard or you smush it and not too soft or it won't ever turn into the ball shape. Round and round. Mom and dad, you might have to help them because in class this was always a really challenging activity for the kids to grade the pressure and to get their hands to go in this shape. The reason you want their hands to start learning this the arches of their hands so that when they pick up their pencil eventually, they're in this arched position, this rounded area, which is really hard for kids at this age. It's all just about practice. So you're gonna roll, roll, roll. You end up with four balls, all about the same size. You're gonna put them together, and then you need two little pieces that you're going to put down. Maybe use your two fingers and you're just gonna roll them out. One, two, and you make them into the caterpillar's antenna. They use their antenna to smell and search for food. And then the last step, we're gonna add the face. So my caterpillar with his two antennas, I don't have another color Play-Doh at home and I wanted to give my caterpillar some different color eyes and mouth. So I cut out of a magazine two little circles for his eyes and I'm just, and they're just paper. So I'm just gonna push them on there and then I cut out a red mouth and I'm gonna stick that on there too. My caterpillar looks kind of silly, but that's okay. Anything you wanna do for your caterpillar is just fine. So one, two, three, four balls where you're gonna cup your hands and work to make them into round, even shapes. Two antennas, two eyes, and a mouth. Have fun and be sure to watch for the pictures of our caterpillars that are growing every day. Bye-bye.